This video is requested by so so. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Thank you for your request. This video is about how to do vegetation like Alex Hogreef. And if you're new here, make sure that you subscribe and request future videos. And I will get back to them as soon as I can. If you want to skip and watch the vegetation, it starts here. And if you want to see everything out, well, it starts now. So the first thing is a SketchUp model that I've done and I've added here wood textures and shadow and also the thickness of the wood. It should be a lot darker using the polygonal lasso tools and levels to get everything done. Here I'm painting some shadows over the wood and highlights to make it even more realistic. And I've added some dirty wood stain and some holes because in real life that's how wood looks like. I've also used wood screens as my handrail. So I've got up this image and I've used it as a handrail and using the levels to make it a lot lighter. And then I've added here the top part of the rail using the polygonal lasso tool. added those screens to all of the other sides and adjust this perspective and levels. I've already skipped you guys through all that and I've got all the wood panels on the other sides the same way so it's nothing fancy. And then started doing the shadow for each panel using the polygonal lasso tool, fill it with black, copy and paste and then adjust its perspective. Add the floor and again adjust the perspective of the shadow of the handrail for some reason it just didn't work out for me. And then here I've added another wood texture for the bench and I'm using a light wood texture and make sure that when you're copying them that the texture is in line with each other when you're copying it to each face that it's aligned to make it more boxy and uniform. Add the shadows of each face with a polygonal lasso tool, fill it with black, multiply, just as levels, you know the drill. I've cut out the stairs because eventually I'm going to delete the layers from the SketchUp model. So I've overlay overlaid it with a black color uh, Gaussian blur and then low opacity multiply. I've done the shadows from the bridge and the stairs on the ground and I didn't show you how I placed the grass here because I'm eventually going to change it because I didn't like how it turned out. Here I'm just using some concrete and making the shadows by making one face darker so that, so that it looks 3D. Using the polygonal lasso tool, fill it with black, merge the two layers together and then copy paste it to the all different columns so that you don't have to do it over and over again and then I've also added the shadows from the bridge onto the column and deleted the extra bits I've added the polygonal lasso tool on a new layer just a bit of shadow at the end of the bridge coming to the front with a soft brush I'm using the image of a building elevation and I've just cut out uh, the lower parts of the the buildings and here I'm adding another layer with a soft white brush just to add atmosphere and depth to the image. I'm adding the concrete texture for the walkways and just don't worry about making it really perfect or anything because then you're gonna put it in a layer mask. And I've used the stamp tool here just to fix up all the edges and to make sure that everything is smooth. And then here I've added the clipping mask to make sure that everything is clean. I've added the shadow for the stairs for each step using polygonal lasso tool, fill it all with black, turn in the blend mode to multiply, low opacity, you know the drill. I've added different sizes of trees, made them darker by adjusting the levels just to add depth.
and I've added bushes, copy pasted them, merged everything together and made it really light with levels and I put it on the bottom line of the city to hide the border and another big bush right here to hide where the walkways are supposed to go to. Yeah, rendering isn't about realistic visualization, it's about how good you can hide stuff. I placed the image and with the clay pin mask, I cut out the walkways, cut out all the columns and all the extra bits. Because you're using clipping masks, the trick here is to use a brush that has a texture of the grass that you can download them online, they're free, they're widely popular, widely available. So here because I'm painting with a white brush with the grass shape, I'm showing the grass on top of the columns. And also I'm doing this on the edges of the walkway to make sure that the edges don't look really clean and straight because realistically that's, how, that's not how grass looks like. And I've overlapped between two brushes just to make sure that everything doesn't look photoshoppy and everything looks the same. Again here I've fixed the edges of the columns using clipping masks. So Alex made everything really smooth and blended by using the clipping masks. So here I'm using and adding some textures of flower with a clipping mask over it. And if you paint everything with black in the beginning and then paint over it with white to show uh, some, some of the edges, then it looks really cool and it looks really nice. And don't worry about any edges that are blended or anything, just hide them. And I've again used the different textures of flowers, fill it all with black at first, and then start painting with white to show any, just to show the flowers picking through the grass. And here I've wanted some flowers at the back, but it's not actually within the clipping mask, so it's fine. Just copy paste and then paint over it again. Also, a smart trick that Alex used is that when you're doing the vegetation for the grass, if you're painting, you use the grass brush that I told you about. If you're erasing, you use the same grass brush. And if you're using stamp tool, you can also change the shape of the tool into a grass brush. So if you're doing anything with vegetation, you only use that grass brush. I've added more trees, cleaned up a lot of edges. In this video, I don't know why I had to clean so much. Anyway, I've added the people right now. And basically, you just add the people, you take out all the black and white spaces, you duplicate the layer, flip it vertically and turn it all to black using hues and saturation. Just cut off any extra edges. And for the people that are sitting down or sitting on the grass or laying, I've just used a layer of soft brush under it. I've also added a light ray which is shown in the previous video if you've seen it. I've added lens flare and some dirty film texture, just everything using the camera filter after merging all the layers, fixed again some edges for some reason. and here's the final image i hope you liked it and make sure that you leave your request so that i can feature you in my next video i'm rasha shiruru and i'll see you next time